I'm Miss Owen and I'm at Montrose Elementary and this is my fourth grade class. Today we're going to be talking about foundational facts math fluency. So we're going to start today with a prove it problem. Markers ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Amari, who happens to be in the room, likes to make bracelets with gorgeous beads. Each bracelet needs 10 beads. Amari has an order for six bracelets. How many beads does she need to complete the order? Now your goal here is to come up with how many strategies can you use to solve the problem. But remember, we always start by making a plan. So I see Isabella has already started. You may talk with your group about different strategies that can be used, see how many you can come up with. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Take notes because that helps you to make a plan, right? So if you know each bracelet needs 10 beads, that's an important bit of information to get down. Very good. Okay, needs 10. Well, let's go back and look. Look at the problem. What do you see? What do you know? Okay, she likes to make bracelets. Is that information that we're going to need to solve? No, that's just information they're giving you. So what else could you look at? Okay, so I think you're on the right track there. So you were saying they need what? You got it. Keep going. Okay, what else do you know? Ooh, Carrie's making notes. I want to point out, Carrie has the question written because remember, that's part of planning is what is it asking you to find? We need to be thinking about that. In case there's multiple steps, you want to be able to check your answer versus what it's asking you. Isabella have a similar problem. What are you guys thinking? Oh. You guys have a similar problem written. What are you guys thinking? So okay. I'm thinking that um, they're 10 by 10. 10 by okay, why? Why do you think that? Because they're 10 by 10. You need to write down all the strategies you can come up with. But why did you decide to choose counting by 10s as your strategy? Because it's way more easier than doing, like, if I tried to do, like, circles, that would take me forever to write. Right. Okay. Can I ask you a follow-up question? How did you know it was multiplication? What about the problem led you to believe it's multiplication? Okay, so you're thinking how many beads? And what did it tell you about how many beads she needed? Okay. So that led you to believe it was multiplication, okay? Because what are you doing? Are we going to add? What are you doing? It sounds like because what are you doing? Like how did you figure that out? How many beads does she need? Does this tell you how many beads she needs? You're on the right path. So what? Why are you saying? How many beads on each bracelet? Okay. So let's think about what's another strategy you could use. Okay. So what? So Uh huh. So she needs to, she's making an order, okay, and how many are in the order? How many bracelets are in the order? Six. Okay, so write that down. I think that's a good idea. How can you draw? I don't. 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 I all right, so show me how can you show 10 on each bracelet? Get an addition. Oh, I see an array. Oh, I love that picture, Amari. Just be careful because how many you're putting on each? 10. Okay, good. How did you decide it was multiplication? Good. So now show me how you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. What led, but what was the clue that you were like, I think I should multiply? Because she was putting nope. 10 bracelets on each six 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 bracelets all right, caps on markers, markers down. Thank you for helping me, Tiana. Caps on markers, markers down. All right, I'm gonna start with the back table. Let's think about 
Did you come up with a plan before you attacked the problem? Yes. All right, McKinley, what did you do? First, um, I um, like I wrote something down. So what did you write? I wrote each each bracelet needs ten beads. Okay. And it has a she has a order for six bracelets. Okay. <clears throat> How many beads does she need to complete it? Ah, okay. How, did I spell that right? Yeah, okay. How many beads does she need? Mm. Okay. <coughs> Going as fast as I can. Keep up with you. All right, so you chose multiplication. I saw that as I was walking around. What made you think that this was multiplication? Like, it started like with the word problem what made me think it was multiplication because okay. it says how many beads do she need okay so you were thinking about this bead part okay anybody else at that table kylie you want to add to that so, you could stop um, being on. so i need that each bracelet has 10 um beads on okay so so when you do do the first bracelet is 10 beads then okay keep going like that until you get to the last one and that equals 60. so you almost like visualized what's happening in the problem that's great amari what did you do i did i made six bracelets with 10 beads on it okay i count all the beads up and i got 60. so she drew pictures did anybody else draw pictures mm. okay now, Elijah, you did something similar to drawing a picture. What strategy did you use? You used a different strategy. Same idea, but a little bit different. What did you use? I wanted to see so I could count What are those called? That's a strategy we call what? Okay, so yeah, you're making circles. What is it called? Equal groups. Equal groups. So Elijah did the same kind of thing. Amari, so yours was a little bit more um, fancy, right? You actually drew a picture of bracelets with beads. Elijah just drew six bracelets. And he put beads or dots in here. He put 10. Oh, gosh. 3, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And he put it that way. You could have also just put 10, right, in each group. Okay. Because here's the thing. What do you know about 10s? What can you do with 10s? When you see that, you can go, oh, Carrie, what? You can do all 10 Okay. Repeated addition, sure. That's another strategy that could be used. Dante? And plus, like 10, 20, 30, 40. You could skip count by tens, right? That was kind of gentle in that way. Did anybody do something different? Carrie, what did you do? I did an array. She built an array. I was like, oh my goodness. So she thought of herself walking into that movie theater and I looked at your paper. How many rows did you do? Six, Six rows. And how many did you put in each row? Ten. Ten in each row. I'm not even gonna try and recreate that because yours is too good. But that is an option as well as an array. Did anybody just write the equation? No, me. Most of you did. Yeah, most of you wrote the equation. Which would be what, Ronald? Ten times six. Ten times six. What did you get for your answer? Sixty. Okay. Sixty what? B. Thank you, because we always want a what after our answer. A label, so that we know what it's talking about. This also shows that, did I answer the question? How many beads does she need? She needs 60 beads. Thumbs up if you feel good about that. You got that, you got the answer, you used some strategies. Okay, you may take your eraser and erase your desk. Make it nice and neat. Okay, we are going to move into our station. So our first rotation at my table, Tayana, email Amari and Isabella, you are coming to play trios at cover-up game on the rug. There are instructions up on the windows if you can't remember how to play the game or need a refresher. Elijah, Carrie, Dante, and Amira, you guys will go there. And practical problems with Ms. W at the back table, Ronald, McKinley, and Kylie. You don't need to bring anything with you. It's okay. Um, everything is where is at the station when you get there.
Here, Carrie. All right, this is the game trios. Remember with trios, our goal is to get what? Um, what do we? Three in a row, right? And it can be up and down, side to side, diagonal. For every three in a row, you earn five points. You got it. I'm sorry? We will start with email, that's true. Now, in trios, what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by fives, okay? So we're using our fives facts. Now, we talked the first time about the fact that there's a couple free spaces because we're using a die. There's a couple free spaces on our board. Which ones were they? Do you remember? Zero. Why? Why are we not going to be able to use zeros? Because it's not on, the, um, on the dice. It's not on the dice, but why does that matter? If we do five times zero, what do we get, Tayana? Zero. zero. Why? Because if I add zero, it's not going to be a dice. Okay, so tell me more. Who can tell me more? Amari, tell me more. It's not going to times up because you can't make zero to ten unless you subtract it. Okay, so you're thinking about like if I do 10 subtract 0, I would still get 10, but not in this case. What does this actually mean? So let's think about what does this actually mean. This means five groups of 0. So if I had five groups and I said, oh, I'm going to use my equal group strategy, what's in here? So do I have any product? No, I have no answer. So think about when you get a multiplication by 0, it's either saying five groups of 0 or 0 groups of 5, which means I have Zero. Now, million dollar question before we start. What are these called? Close, but these numbers. What do we call oh, these in a multiplication oh, problem? You're so close. It starts with an F. Fraction. Not fractions. That's something Fraction. different. Factors. These are your factors. What's the answer called? Zero. The answer is zero here. You're right, but what do we call it? A product. A product. Okay. So, we are going to use our spaces our tiles and we're going to cover up our zero spaces, okay? Uh, you get two free spaces. Pull that guy. All right, he got a seven. So what is our equation? What do you solve? Hold on, let him do it. What are we going to solve on this one? Remember, it's five times what? Seven. Now, what if you don't know that one by heart? What can you do? You could. That's a strategy. You can use any of our strategies. All right, email. Use your tool. Get us our answer. What's our product? You can have one too. Yeah. It's 35. Good. It is 35. Think he can do it, but thank you. That was nice of you to step in. It's 35. Do you see a 35 on your board? You can cover it up. Take one of these chips, honey pie. There you go. Find your 35. So the area of one city is 31 miles. The area of another city is 17 and 38 hundred oh, square miles. Girl, How much smaller that. is the second city? I love that you're already writing. So what are some of the important facts that we need to know in this story? You can write down one square miles. Okay, so one city is 31 square miles. Good. And the second city is? 17.38. 17 and 38 hundredths square miles. Good. Good. So write those two down with your with your facts. Square. Miles. Good. You could abbreviate S-M-I if you needed to. Okay. What is the most important part of this whole Question. How much smaller is How the second city? How much smaller? Good. So I want you to underline, circle, rewrite. How much smaller? Here's one of the things mm -hmm. we're going to say. Good. And how, what does how much smaller indicate to us? What are we going to think about with that? Subtraction. subtraction. It is. Y'all are so good. Yes, it is subtraction. Excellent, but you are writing a lot. So don't make your life harder, right? Take it. So write down 17 and 3800. Square miles. Oh, I get it. Okay, what? You subtract these to figure out how much of this. Good. 
But make sure you put the bigger number on top. Which That's is this what one. I was doing. I'm sorry. It, Thank it you. It looks like this is the bigger number, but this one. That is the bigger number. Now, you add zero Ronald, I love that you're already working. What did you do with your problem? What did you add to your problem that makes it a little bit easier? What did you add to your 31? Oh, two zeros. And a? And a, uh, and a decimal point. Perfect. All right, get to work. It's 20. Very nicely done. All right. Go ahead and pick up your piece. Where do you see a 20? Did you already cover one up? You only get to cover one. Remember, each turn you only get to cover one. All right, here goes Isabella. You have an extra one somewhere. Oh my goodness. I don't know, write it down. I think you switched it, but that's okay. What'd you get? Okay, so tell us what equation you wrote. Five times two equals... Five equals ten. It does equal ten. Very nice. All right, do you have a ten on your board? Uh, yes. Cover it up. Thank you. Now you got about 30 seconds, Amari. Let's see if we can get you through your turn. Nice. Yeah, this is actually... So look, so where the dot is, it's a six. So what's your equation? You got it. Write it down. You do. All right. What are you going to do? Let's see. Very nice. Okay. Do you see a 30 on your board? Where can you cover it up? Remember the goals is three in a row. Oh, Amari. She's getting closer too. Thank you so much for joining our math lesson today. Go Mustangs!